Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 of our Let's Play series on Diablo 2 Resurrected. We are on the closed beta. We are playing the Sorceress. Uh, in the last episode, we managed to figure out the bug that was stopping us from getting our mercenary. We managed to outfit him with some well, pretty not bad gear, I guess, for where we're at right now. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to throw something into that socket there. I'm not sure what we really want. Um, I think magic find... I think I remember reading that that only applies uh, if the mercenary actually gets the kill. And I mean, he's killing stuff quite a bit, but I think we can do something better than that. Oh, choices, choices. I mean, it wouldn't be... Actually, we're going to throw a chip skull in there just for now, because that's going to give him a bit of uh, replenish life. Uh, mm, uh, mm. No, we're going to give him this. We're going to give him the maximum damage, so we can do a bunch more damage on bosses and stuff uh, when we get there. Nope. Oh, wait. We probably have to take it off him first, don't we? There we go. I'll put that to good oh use. yes, you are now a beefcake. And uh, potions. How are we doing for potions? Greetings. Let's go ahead and pick up another one of these. We'll keep some in our inventory just so we have them. Oh, let's go ahead and drop off this gold so if we die, uh, we don't lose that. And we were going to uh, the Claw Viper Temple. We were going to go get the headpiece for the staff. And we made it to the far oasis. We're going to see if we can find the lost city here. Give me more of those elite packs. Juicy, juicy gear and stuff. Yeah, let's grab some of those just because they're here. Another thing that would probably be worth getting our hands on is going to be... Oh, wow, that was easy. Uh, a piece of gear that has like a, a half freeze duration or something like that. That, that would be really nice for fighting Duriel. Uh, he does a lot of cold damage. Kind of hurts. Slows you down a lot. I have a funny feeling our mercenary is not going to be able to tank him. And we're going to end up having to kite him. Uh, so that would be really handy. The darkness is real in this game. Thanks. Oh, mercenary, you so OP. What's this down here? Is this no, that's not a pathway. Oh hey, 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 we want that. Stamina? Yeah, okay, sure. We're not uh, constantly running out of stamina anymore, speak of the devil. Um, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. Getting them runes. We might not even have to go back and kill the Countess a bunch of times if we keep finding them like this. Pretty sure Neflum rune rope word is really good. I think you need to be a bit higher level to use that, though. Ah, we have the teleport finally. And we're gonna dump a couple more points into strength. Maybe put on some better gear. And let's go ahead and assign our teleport to F2. Uh, now we can just roll back and forth using the scroll wheel between those. It's going to be really handy for us. It's going to let us do stuff like this. Not enough mana. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, 
get some more mana, maybe put some points in that, or find some gear. I need mana. I think we're going to have to hold off on our teleport uh, for now. Just because that eats like a lot of mana. If I recall correctly, I think as you put more points into it, the mana cost decreases? There's some spells like that. Uh, like the Barbarian's Double Swing, I think it's called. It actually, uh, I believe it generates mana at a certain point when you put enough points into it. this waypoint while we're here. Thought they had me, but they did not. He's magic resistant, but he's not stab resistant. Normally these guys are actually, uh, the guys who throw the poison, they're quite annoying, except for we have that glove on, which is really carrying us through any and all poison damage. One socket? No thanks. This is the ancient tunnels. That's a very good loot place too. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's pop in here. Maybe we'll we'll find something worthwhile. Go get him, Asab! You could do it. I believe in you. I'm just gonna drink some potions back here. We're actually getting pretty low on our potions. healing potions? Yeah, we do. Just need those mana potions right now. Not enough mana. Don't tase me, bro. Not 
mana. further this way yet. That is a bad spot to be basically completely out of mana. Hmm. Will he make it? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go back. Let's get some potions. Kane! That, that's very nice. We're going to be putting that on later. Uh, for the moment, we're gonna we're gonna stick that in our stash. Not really missing the stamina. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. Dim vision, don't want. I mean, we're so stacked on our poison resist that can go too. And uh, put this down here. Drop off some stuff. The wand of the future. Hello. Actually, let's uh, grab a couple more while we're here. Just chunking his health off. Ooh, what do we have here? I mean, we're not going to be using a broad axe, but... Gore Shovel. Hmm, pretty cool. Actually, I believe the open wounds are really good to have. That could be worth some money. Actually, I'm curious what's on this. I am but I want to know. Tell me. Let's see if this is worth keeping. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. We want none of this. All right, this was uh, this was no bueno. We didn't get very much out of it. I gotta remember we got that teleport now too. Just eats the mana, though. I think uh, this was the entrance down here. Yeah, it was. Almost uncovered the whole place. Still haven't found what we're looking for. Gonna be the last place you look, right? Do 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 do. Right there. It was right beside the other entrance. But that's okay. We got ah uh, runs out of stamina, of course. We got that uh, really cool axe. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be saving that. I, I might play a melee character at some other point. It might be nice to have.
let's go this way. Uh, friggin' danger noodles everywhere. Just Rexon. I love my mercenary. Gonna need that. We're going through a lot of mana. I wonder. I don't think we can... Ha! Oh, we can! Nice! Yeah, see that dash? And uh, there's like a slight pain animation stun you get from that. It can murder you very quickly if there's a bunch of them that gang up on you. That could be worthwhile. Ooh, we want this. We're going to keep that. Definitely. Let's get rid of the buckler. And uh, out of potions down there, might as well fill that up. What a sneaky snake. Hmm. Ooh, too bad that's not ethereal. We could uh, put that to good use. I picked up something I didn't want, but I guess not. Ah, that could be worthwhile. We are looking for a suitable shield replacement. I, I mean, we have a white shield on. Didn't even stand a chance. Drop more mana potions for us. That's what we really want. That's what we need. What we really, really need. And floor two. I believe, again, we're going for floor three. Mm, no, maybe, uh, maybe floor two is where we're at. Yeah, this is the place. Ooh, 
That might be worthwhile. Give us the goods. Apparently a stray fireball took some guys out. Basically done with the desert. Let's go talk to Kane. Here is silky smooth voice. Get him to identify our items for us. Yeah, we gotta want to put this on, I think. 111 defense, and we 26 strength requirement. Ah, we got the requirements minus, but this is ethereal. Um, it doesn't have a repair, like repairs itself on it. So we're going to give that to our mercenary. I'll put that to good use. Oh, yes, you will. I know you will. Let's get rid of this. Uh, goodbye, Jewel. And uh, that's, that's meh. We don't want that. Let's jump over here. Uh, we're going to throw this into the shared tab. And we're going to dump these jewels. Has it some gold? And all oh, right, we found this crazy axe. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transmute these two together. That's gonna give us the staff we need to open Duriel's tomb. And uh, we're gonna throw this over in here too with this. So as you can see, we're done that now. Uh, we need to go talk to Drognan, who is just up over this way. Welcome, young sorceress. I've been recent. Ask and learn. One of my favorite things, by the way, if you're ever playing a necromancer, uh, what you can do is you can try and buy wands. Right? You can go through, see if there's any wands you like, whatever, um, and try and get the map with the entrance right here. And if you run out, and you run back in, it will refresh the inventory on the wands and stuff. So you can very quickly run in and out and check the wands over really quickly to get one with the stats on it that you want. Something like plus two to necromancer skill level, something like that. And uh, we're going to be allowed into the palace now. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the city. <laughs> and uh, we're going to find out that stuff in the palace here is not quite uh, what it used to be. And uh, I've discovered the trick to this place. It's pretty easy. Uh, it seems like you want to go to kind of the opposite corner. Uh, so if there's an entrance over here, uh, the opposite side on the far diagonal will be going back up, and the other two on the other diagonals will be uh, going down. And that seems to be fairly consistent. We're actually going to get some good use out of the teleport here. I believe this is the one where the uh, the entrance to the next zone is going to be. It's somewhere in the middle, just kind of over this way. Actually, let's let's kill some of these guys with our no mana. Okay, we'll let them crowd around the merc. 
and really make the most of our fireballs. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. Do it great work, bud. Hmm. Let's go over here. Not enough mana. Oh, come on. All right, let's go grab a potion or two here. Potions. Get Farrah to give us a little quick top up. That is where we want to be. Just two short teleports away. This place actually and this is me. one of my favorite zones in the entire game. It is so cool, and I am so pumped for the updated graphics on this. Let's go ahead. We're going to go up. Oh, oh, we're teleporting. We want to be using Fireball. So cool. I love the uh, the not real layout. How it's like impossible shapes, right? Just things that could not exist. It's like a perfect mage sanctuary. Fact. I think I'm gonna steal this for a D and D game that I run. Mercenaries, right? Getting stuck all over the place. Bam! Brings them with you. Very useful for uh, necromancers as well. When you have all your minions and stuff, use the teleport, which you can get in various different ways, and uh, just pops them all right on top of you. Seems like such a waste. Guy's got like almost no health yet. Whip a fireball at him. Group up into big groups for me. Grab us some skills. More fireball. Can't go wrong with more fireball. Uh, let's uh, let's dump more points into vitality here. Oh, look at that cold resistance. We're gonna probably want to do something about that before we get to Duriel. Uh, I mean, there there is another option, which, <laughs> if we're still that low on cold resistance later on, I'll show you. All this gold that I've never picked up, because I didn't want to click that many times, and now I can get it.
And uh, so one of the tricks you can use here too is this is always going to be there's four paths and there's going to be a, a left side and a right side of the path. And three of the paths are going to have like a little loot area like this. And if you get to here, th like that's the end. There's there's nothing else on this string. Uh, and just pop a portal, go back to town, come up here to the waypoint. And just go back. And uh, we're going to go opposite. Yeah. Right now I'm, uh, I'm actually working away at camp. And the internet here is not, not the greatest, so that's, that's probably why you're seeing a little bit of that rubber banding once in a while. I ain't walking. You can't make me. Not See, even when you miss, you hit stuff, so... It's all good. I heard that charm drop. And I'm pretty sure these chests here, uh, they have a moderately good chance at some decent loot. Uh, so if you make it to the end, it's worth opening up the chests. And uh, I mean, I think I've seen some debate about actually using this to farm and. I think if you're like a sorceress and can teleport really fast, it's worth it. Uh, but if you don't have access to that teleport, it's it's not so great. Uh, let's just let's just drink. Be a little excessive. Which way it is? Huh? It'll be the last one we choose, so let's go this way. Just runes for days. Actually, I think we, yeah, we'll pick that up. This is the one, isn't it? I can feel it in my bones. Ooh, pain. Get it. I need mana.
<laughs> yeah, it'll be the last one. And back one more time. This time, for sure, we are going to get the guy we are looking for. Always picking up charms. Love my charms. I need mana. I need mana. Oh, let's uh, pop some potions here. Now, when you're fighting this guy, you want to uh, not get hit by his stuff, because it hurts a lot. But the guy himself is actually really, really weak. And dies super easy. So if you got a way to get past the guys to get him, or snipe him from a distance, uh, it's not a very hard fight. And that is going to give us the journal, which is going to give us the true symbol that we're looking for, and give us a portal to this place. Of course, we're going to pick up that waypoint, pop back into town. Got a bunch of items in our inventory here. Excellent. You must. I hope. Yes, 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 Kane. Don't you worry. We're going to take Duriel down. Uh, I don't want that. We're going to keep that. That is exactly what I was talking about. That's something we want. Um, can we afford to lose Lightning Resist? I want to look at my stats. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. Uh, I'm going to keep that in my stash. I'm going to dump all those off. And uh, uh, we're gonna, look, we got our half freeze duration right there. Uh, I wonder, I don't know if that stacks, if you can half it and then half it. Um, I'm not too sure. But we've gone a little bit over our time. Um, I was kind of hoping we'd get, uh, you know, one or two of those arms, not all four. But uh, that's okay, we got some, some stuff out of it, some experience, uh, and that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a like, feel free to subscribe. Uh, again, if there's any games you want to see in future episodes, go ahead and put those down in the comments, and I will see you in the next episode.